uh, I hope he has the time to go back to working on the the uh, um, Resident Evil adventure thing he was working on. That oh was, yeah, that yeah. was incredible. The stuff he had done had created in it. All right, well, all the various redstone devices. Well, you've seen the the original Resident Evil movie. Yeah. Where they go down into the you know the hive and they fight the Red Queen. Yeah. Get yeah. down to the bottom. It was that kind of thing. He had it set up where you know you you had a computer table that you had to punch the code into, and then it would shut down the power. Everything would go black, and emergency lights would come on, and doors would shut, and and basically it was the 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 uh, entire story of the movie. Awesome. Yeah. And he had the whole Red Queen chamber and every, all that stuff set up. And then where you got out and crawled through like an air duct and went into an area that, yeah, the, the, had the, the things that had the zombies in them and they would burst open and the zombies would come out. He did a great, great job. Yeah, sounds like it. But the thing was, it's like, you know, the area, let's say, uh, the entire area that the adventure took place was about the size of your tree farm. Yeah. Over there on the side, you know, if you, if you added up all the levels and, and stuff, the, the, the tree farm was about the area of the adventure. And the rest of your hive here would be the big room that had all the redstone circuits and everything laid out in it to power everything. And Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the redstone was literally bigger than the, than the actual adventuring area was. Well, that's the case with this at the moment, like with the hoppers, you, you can make an auto smelting furnace, but it's going to take something like about um, a 5 by 5 by 6 deep or something area to do it, you know, mm -hmm. huge. So not to do with the daylight sensors yet, though. Ah, instant. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, there yeah. you go. That's one use for this room is to have a look at some of the different textures. <laughs> yeah, that endstone really sucks. I tell you what, I'm disliking this particular version of John Smith so much. I'm actually going to switch over to uh, default. I really don't like the textures they chose. Yeah, I think you can do that in game now, can't you? Yes, you can. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's nice. Yep, there now. Yeah, that's a lot better. But the thing to do will be to just, you know, cut out the textures you liked from the old one, won't you? And then just replace that one. Because at least now, if you don't like the texture, you've only got to just quickly replace one image file, you know? Exactly. Don't have to sit there and edit all that the entire ping and worry about oh I screwed up all the transparencies again and that kind of thing. Yeah. The other day I realised I haven't got a cactus farm here. Good to know that once you got the uh, the ones fixed that have the transparencies, you never had to worry about alpha channels again. You know. Yeah. It, I think it's a, a, a real good improvement for texture packs entirely this you know so mm -hmm. it's a lot of work for poor people to change and everything to do it but um, really really good change so have, you, I think. have you got the nether quartz tucked away anywhere uh, yes uh, I've just is it all it, in uh, your nether chest or did you I put it uh, in the in the storeroom where the first lot of nether rack is there's uh, a chest okay. I've just made a chest up above it and put it in there alrighty Oh, okay. There it is. I wanted to see what it looked like, what the ore looked like. Yeah. So it's a nether rack with just white stripes going through it. Okay. Yeah, basically. What's cool. it look like in John Smith's? Um, kind of like nether rack with like coal, but the coal is white instead of black. Ah, oh, right. Was kind of the texture that it was. <coughs> I'm finding the hive can't produce wheat fast enough now. Really? This is a strange saying. <laughs> <laughs> if 
fast enough for keeping your cow Kangs farm going? Yeah. <laughs> Breed the cows, kill the cows, wait for the younger cows to grow up again, kill them. <laughs> These cats <laughs> buying up wheat. Good job I've got quite a big backlog, but even so, I'm still it's still gradually running out rather than getting more. <laughs> mm. That reminds me, talking about cows and wheat. And... Curious to find out whether my wife was a uh, either had been replaced by a Stepford robot or if a pod person had gotten her. Why? Well, we were out yesterday. I was running around doing errands and stuff, and she was with me. And then she was like, "Can we go to Popeyes, the chicken place?" It's like, yeah. I remember, this is the woman that eats, you know, goes to the health food stores and doesn't buy anything unless it's organically grown and free range. <laughs> whole grain multi hippie approved you know, food <laughs> and it's yeah. like so we go to a fast food chicken place and get and get hot Louisiana style chicken nuggets and then after that she wants to go to Burger King and get a Whopper <laughs> it's like Ooh. okay I've had you fixed so I know you can't be pregnant I was going to say, yeah, if food cravings like that's going to be daddy now, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that's not going to happen because that, that's been taken care of already. <laughs> Let's see, where am I store? Oh, plant items is where I'm putting the cactus at the moment. Well, sometimes you just get a craving for some different types of food, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. After a while, you have to do something to balance out all that health food. Yeah. I've got a glowstone here. I'm not putting the chest as well. No, how the village is doing. Oh, I was just what? checking the clouds. Well, I had that problem, remember? I had, had had my clouds turned off for a while because the uh, the clouds were causing invisibility. Instead of blocking things when they passed in front of a building, I could see right through them into the sky, you know? Yeah. But yeah, now they're actually blocking stuff again, so that's good, whatever the problem was there. Yeah, I tend to play with clouds off these days because, like... It goes right through the actual hive collection mm. part, you know. So, oh yeah, if I'm if I'm up there in the in the uh, mob part, yeah, I turn them off too. We should see some different behavior too. One of the things that they talked about in one five one is that they had worked to get rid of the uh, <gasps> all villagers in one room. Look, look, look at there. Look, danger, danger, Will Robinson. Yes. You know what Miss, that is, don't missing it? doors. You know what that means. Zombies. Considering there's no one near as many, yeah, there's no one near as uh, many yeah. villages either. Looks like there's been a zombie invasion. Oh, where on earth has zombies spawned? Mm. Will they just spawn themselves occasionally? Uh, I believe. I mean, I've never quite called, um, the uh, some, some sort of zombie attack or something. Yeah, like a zombie attack or zombie invasion or something. Yeah, but. I thought they couldn't spawn unless it was light. Uh, if it wasn't light, you know, mm -hmm. you'd need the right light levels. Mm, I don't know. But obviously, the villages have taken quite a hit because there's only there's not even half as many here. Yeah. Aww. But it looks like the uh, what's it did the job. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> the golems must have done the job though. Yeah. Definitely but saved what they saved. As far as I know, there is nowhere in here that's not lit up enough. Let me pop out to the uh, wiki right quick and uh, take a look. See what they say. Minecraft village zombie.
zombie siege. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I should um, say. Uh, since it loads up, I saw the first, you know, how Google gives you the first line, and yeah, the first line says something about zombie, no matter how lit up. Zombie sieges are in-game events that occur when many zombies spawn in a village. They occur regardless of how well lit or walled off a village is. Really? Yeah, usually a whole mob of zombies will concentrate on one door or villager, and in hard or hardcore mode will break wooden doors down. This causes the villagers to flee their home and get attacked by the zombies on their way out. Um... Iron golems defend the villagers during such attacks. Inef walls are ineffective for sieges because zombies can spawn inside a well-lit village. Uh, must have oh, here right you go. Yeah. Zombies may prefer to spawn outside of the village or in the dark when given an access route. If so, this allows players to defend villages by creating pressure plate drawbridges or kill channels that limit zombie entrance. It is impossible to completely avoid zombie sieges unless you play on peaceful. Um, if every block within the radius of the village has a half slab on top of it, the zombies will often spawn inside blocks. Wow. Even, even solid blocks, if there are no transparent blocks, then walk toward the villagers through the wall. Zombie sieges do not follow the 24 block rule, meaning they can spawn just a few blocks from a player. Well, the only time I reckon they could have spawned them must have been when I was here playing with the, uh, playing with the, uh, what's this? <clears throat> the, um, hoppers. But I never, well, I never heard anything though. I never heard any sort of, you know, commotion or... Yeah. Wolves may also be stationed to keep the horde at bay. Yeah, but wolves won't protect the villagers, will they? They'll just. Uh, yeah. It's only if the if the vo if the player is there mm -hmm. actually protecting it. Um, hard mode tip: all doors should be one block above the ground. This still allows villagers to enter, but prevents zombies from breaking in unless they spawn inside the house. Right. So zombies can't break doors down if they're one block off the ground. Yeah, apparently not. That's good to know. That's very good to know. I'd want to test it first. But they must have spawned over this side then, because it's all the doors over here that have been taken out. Oops. Wow. Let's see. Sieges. Sieges cannot occur when it's raining in another biome during the day because the zombies will burn when attempting to attack the villagers. However, when it's raining in another biome during night, sieges can still occur. Um. Oh, it would have been interesting to see it happen anyway. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind so much because at least the golems have obviously taken care They're of it. They're obviously and, doing their job, yeah. Yeah, and the villages are repopulating because there's enough of them. But yeah. what I do mind is that my daughters keep getting The chance... Okay, that's if you want to start one. The chance of trying to start a siege is 10% for each night, but the start may still fail due to other reasons. If it does not start one, no other sieges will be started that night. The siege consists of up to 20 extra zombies, all span randomly near a single spot chosen randomly inside a square. 
As of the Redstone update, zombie sieges can become more dangerous to the player. This is because of the new zombie AI, which makes it so that if a zombie attacks a single zombie, all the zombies in the area will come after that player. Since all the zombies in our siege are grouped together, a player could suddenly be fighting 20 zombies. <laughs> so yeah, it sounds like building that uh, killing ground might be the thing to do. And it recommends doing that by creating a dark area nearby. Mm-hmm. It says they'll spawn in a dark area, preferably if they have one. It didn't say they won't spawn in here, but they would prefer to spawn in a dark area. So yeah, if you went off on an outshoot, build a hallway off on an outshoot and put, uh, you know, like a big open area and made sure it was dark, that hopefully they would spawn out there instead of spawning in here. And then, like they said, line do something to line the area with uh, death traps and stuff. Oh, yeah. there's, there's the wife. Okay. Alrighty. They do seem to be uh, splitting themselves up a bit more, apart from down mm -hmm. this room and this bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the golems, they're on patrol together. <laughs> <laughs> Using the Sim City AI, where all the buses line up. Yeah, it's, it's strange, isn't it? I, mean, I didn't know they patrolled, but they're all going <laughs> in the same way. Uh, he have got the We Hate Zombies Appreciation Society. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few in that room. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm glad you got to see that when we found that out. That's mm -hmm. just ridiculous. So I was thinking about that build a dark room nearby, but of course with everything else around here, mm -hmm. it just means that mobs will spawn in that dark room. Now, if I put um, an iron golem in the room with them, then it will kill whatever's in there except for creepers. Mm -hmm. Which is actually, that's a good point. You know, I could make a creeper farm. Wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Could. It would kill off everything apart from creepers, so then uh -huh. you just wash the creepers out or something. And... <laughs> hmm. I wonder if it did do it. that. I wonder if you could put a dark room over there, and if it had like it's it had a water channel. Let's say you had a dark room in the hallway, and the hallway had a water channel that, as they crossed it, washed them off the side and like dumped them down into the ocean down there. I just, I just wash them off into a lava <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wonder just if just to kill them. Yeah. I wonder if that would work, or whether because it, I wonder if the AI would read that as their path being blocked, and then they'd just spawn in here again. That'd be something you'd have to experiment with. Well, I think the thing to do would be to. Um, Build a dark room, say, mm -hmm. uh, what, 10 by 10 or something, to give them plenty of room to spawn 20 zombies. Mm -hmm. Then have a single wide passageway coming out of it that's got a pressure plate on it at one point, and when they hit, when they squash it, when they go on the pressure plate, just have the walls close in by pistons or something. Yeah. What? Well, I yeah. think I don't think it needs to. I think it's a, in fact actually these these villages here are such rip off merchants. I'm not going to protect them at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder whether that just works off the villages or whether it works off the houses. I wonder how it decides it because if I take the villages alike away and put them in a market, will the market then get mm -hmm. um, what they call it a zombie? I don't think so because without the uh, rooms, without the the rooms and doors, it doesn't count it as a village. That's why yeah. you you could put them in a market, but they'll never breed because they don't think it's a village. Yeah, yeah. That would be my guess, anyway. <laughs> but you know, then again, I can't make redstone open up a double door. So what do I know? <laughs> That's new behaviour. That I've never seen them patrol around the edges of the village like that before. Yeah, that is really cool there. 
<laughs> and it's a, it's a good good thing to notice actually that the it, we found it when we did because my next thought was to make this pool about three mm -hmm. blocks deep because they don't swim whereas the villagers will swim mm -hmm. so if I make it three blocks deep and then at the bottom put a current that carries them away I could generate iron with them mm. take them away and burn them and uh, new ones would spawn but I'm not going to now I need them here to protect the villagers you uh, really like murdering your employees don't you? <laughs> notice that well, no, you see, these guys have proved useful and they've done the job, so I'm not going to now. <laughs> now, whereas the villagers, if you go to any of these villagers and try and click on a bar mm -hmm. and see how ripped off you're going to get, okay. I haven't found a decent one yet. <laughs> All right. So as long as you're useful, you don't, do, would you like me to, like, uh, build you some doors? Can I, is there anything I can mine? Uh, cook some stone for you or something? Exactly, yes. <laughs>